Michael, meanwhile, arrived in Reno, a city competing with Las Vegas' successful What Happens in Vegas Stays in Vegas campaign and set about searching for Barry Zuckerhorn. I'm looking for a man who's probably in the seedy underbelly of Reno. Oh, the Christian League had the seedy underbelly shut down. Now it's a Swallows. Swallows was a family-style restaurant by day and an anything-goes pansexual Hello, bazaar by night. Swallows. Can I interest you in a smoothie or an amyl? Michael! Tobias, I thought that you were in Vegas with Kitty and the Blue Man Group? No. As it turns out, the part that I'd destroyed my life to get had already been cast. The role was filled by George Sr., who used it to hide in plain sight. That is, until he choked on a marshmallow and almost died when no one noticed he'd turned blue. So, Kitty suggested we come up here to try out in Reno, and... Oh, I'll be honest, Michael. Leaving Lindsay was the biggest little mistake I've ever made. I can't seem to call her, though. Damn this pride of mine! Tuna melts up, and you need to flip the cushions in the grind room. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, great. Now I'm going to be smelling the high heaven like a tuna melt. Tobias, what would you say if I told you that Lindsay might be willing to get back together with you? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll call her right now. Actually, why don't, why don't you let me handle that? You know Lindsay. She only wants what she can't have. Right. What would you do about Kitty? I can't lie to you, Michael. Kitty left me two days ago. There's a blue handprint on the back of your head, Kitty. Are, are you seeing someone else? Face it, Tobias. It's over. What? Say goodbye to these. Those are blue, too. There were blue handprints on them? Yes. And I swear to you, they weren't. Yours. No, I know. It all points to Dad. Dad's in Reno. Kitty's in Reno. Dad's in Kitty. You must be a blue man. I'm going to go check out the theater. OK, I'll meet you there. I just have to break down the salad bar and set up the leather pony. What's the leather pony? I don't know. We don't have that at lunch. So Michael called Lindsay to say he'd found her husband. All right, I'm on my way. No, no, I'll just bring him back with me. He wants to come home? I mean, against his will. Well, knock him out if you have to. He's my husband. Just watch the kids like you promised, OK? I'm not. Neither am I. Hold it. And the kids found themselves closer than ever on the bumpy road to Reno. Hello? Lindsay, uh, hey, hi. Michael said not to call you, but I... I missed you so much. You miss me? What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. I was driving out there, but this is crazy. We have to be realistic. Uh, no, no, but uh, the thing is, I can't leave Kitty. I just, what with all the sexual intercourse and whatnot. You bastard! What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. I will be backstage after the Blue Man show, whether Kitty likes it or not. Sounds good. One quick question, though. What if Kitty's not there and I'm less of a Blue Man and more of a cocktail waitress it's turning again hang up. hang up i'll see you there thank you bye